I've known this girl for around 12 years. In my head, she was lesbian male. Her sexuality was never confirmed to me, but I knew because, well, I could tell. Her beautiful face, short red hair, and a body like she exercised every day. Now, I don't mean to be stereotypical, but it was quite obvious to me she was gay. I bumped into her about a year ago. She was as beautiful as I can remember. I sent her a message on Facebook, and she didn't reply for what seemed like forever. We met up a few times, we got on great, and I could flirt to my heart's content. Because after all, I wasn't lesbian Mel's type, so any feelings were immediately exempt. I joked about a preference with her, to which she said, Listen mate, I am not, not have I ever been a lesbian, so just like me, let's get this straight. Oh wow, I couldn't believe what I'd just heard 12 years had passed us by, so I told her I thought she was beautiful and a few dates is something we should try. Date one, we sat on the floor in a light bit of rain, eating ice cream as drunk stumbled past. We joked and we laughed and we made pictures from trees, and it got to 1am far too fast. Date two, it was bonfire night, and we went to the roundy fire. We walked hand in hand in the park. I kept mentioning scenes from horror films to play tricks on her eyes in the dark. Date three was food at Trinity Kitchen in Leeds. We talked and got to know each other more. Then the O2 for Jack Garrett live and a squatting game which left me on the floor. Date four was another gig in Harrogate, hoping social had a smile on me. Then back to hers for tea and a sleep. Nothing happened because I'm a gent and I'm polite. Date five is tonight, right here, right now, and this poem is a complete surprise. The lads will all laugh at the soppiness, but I don't care as long as she cries. So far you'll agree this sounds like an amazing time and nothing could spoil this plan. But she's moving to Africa to do a music course and she's leaving at the start of jam. <laughs>